Walkability and bikeability are fantastic tools in the arsenal of the city planner. But crossing highways to get to, say, a larger transport hub should be easy and not necessarily needing a car. Also, moving from your home to a park or educational facility like a high school or a university should be possible to do safely by walking or biking. So how can we improve a city's walk and bikeability and what are the benefits for doing so? Let's jump into Blighty on the Wold and find out. Here we go, and things have been going fantastically well since the changes we made in the last few episodes. Our traffic is quite often around 80%. I've even seen it as high as 85%, which is brilliant. But our plans for today, as well as the pedestrianization, the bike ability that we want to add in, we need to expand because we are at, let's have a look on here, we need to get 48,000, run almost 37,000, so about 11,000 and some change to unlock another square because at the minute we've got these ones here and the plan is to sort of expand with loads of little towns like this maybe not sort of join it all up like you would do uh, if you're going to be build a massive sprawling city so not quite sure where we're going to head next but it would be nice to open up another square so to help our city expand and to get around let's have a look at one of the walkability ideas that we've got first of all and that was this area here so we've got the big highway running through the middle and for people to get from this side to this side to get into the transport options that we've got we've got bus we've got intercity bus we've got metro over here now this little metro uh, underground station oh getting an auto save quick sip of tea and don't forget, if you'd like autosave sip of tea on your own garment, head on over to bifferplaysmerch.com where we've got that and more. Okay, yes, yeah, so we've got undergrounds, we've got train, buses, all sorts of things. But to get here, they need to drive. We've got taxis as well. They need to drive because it crosses over the highway. So can we make that a little bit easier for people? I think we can. And I want to put some maybe overpasses, underpasses and that sort of thing. Um, I was just looking on this side where we would come in. So maybe through here, through here, even perhaps sort of under and through here could be good. So why don't we start with something coming off of this one here past this water tower. Because a lot of people that live in here and see what we can do. Now if we're going up and over a motorway, um, I'm just wondering whether this gravel path no it doesn't i'm thinking of the gravel road darn it i was hoping that this would have a closed in um version for going over the top but it doesn't okay that's fine well, what we're going to do is we're going to go across here is that going to be high enough that is plenty high enough so maybe we can drop that down a touch get it as close as we can we can use some mods like the move it mod we're going to do Control h and get those the same height and then we're going to drop both of those down until we sort of get a reasonable height above the trucks that are coming. Here's a truck or a bus or a coach or something. Do you know what? I think that's probably okay. Like that. Excellent. Um, and then we're going to sort of line that up. Not like that. We're not. We're going to do it. Oi. I just want that one. Line it up. That looks fine to me. And then we're going to connect that to here. And I want that to sort of curve around. Um, to make it look, I want that one there, to make it look a lot nicer, can I do it like, hmm, I know we've got these tools in here and I'm wondering which way we're going to do this. If we go for this one and go from there to there and then swap it to this end, hmm, it's not letting me change ends. Oh, it is now, there it is. Where the heck is that path going? Oh, it's going all around the world to connect up. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe this is not the way to do it. Actually, do you know what? I was overcomplicating things. It's not a very steep slope going up there. But what I have done is I've switched to this one here, the pedestrian and bicycle path, uh, which will get used by both. And then what I want to uh, do is upgrade this one along the back without messing anything up, hopefully. Yeah, all the way along here. So anybody who lives in this estate has got access what happens when i upgrade this one there's somebody walking on it they disappear i think they're okay yes they've got access to walk or use their bikes and then i want to connect that over here somewhere as well so maybe we'll just sort of 
meander this through the trees like this. We don't want it connecting through there. We've got that all blocked off, but definitely over here could be good. Uh, before we get there, I want to keep these trees here to block the noise and a little bit more protection from the uh, from the motorway that's going on. There we go. And then we've grabbed that. There we go. And that can click into there. Excellent. I think that's all okay. That runs all the way along the back. And then let's have a look. Yeah, then we've got the road along here, which people are caught, can cycle on anyway. So that's that connection there. And then the other side, I'm just thinking we could literally go up and under here and come in at the back of the train station. I think that would work well. There we go. That looks good. Look at that. People are already walking and biking over the highway, which is exactly what we want to see. And they're all going to be heading up here. There we go. To get their mass transit sorted. Fantastic. Let us just put a little bit of protection in here for our lovely people that are walking through our city. That is fantastic. So for every one of those people crossing over this bridge, that is one less car coming through. Let's come out of that view there. There we go. Coming through this roundabout over here, which can get busy from time to time. Um, let's use our in-game tool as well. I'm pretty sure we could use that on a path like this and see where everybody's going. Okay, actually clicked on a person. There we go. Excellent. So we can see we turn off all of these because we don't need them. We've got pedestrians, loads of them. We have cyclists as well. And where are they all going? They're all heading up into here. Look, they're getting buses. They're coming to work. Yeah, that is absolutely brilliant. Of course, coming down through the metro as well fantastic so that's pedestrian access into t hampton hub taken care of over here but let's just look at one more transit hub before we start expanding our city and uh ketling transit hub or i end up calling it the wold transit hub as it's right by the wold at the moment is only accessible mostly um for people on this side by coming through the motorway although we do have some walking paths down here which are good i think i'm going to upgrade these to this one here so they are available for bikes there we go and for walking in fact these might always already be these ones are they no they're not okay so let me just upgrade these that's it all the way to the end so they can get in from over there uh, these people over here crossing over yeah so they've got to cross over this road here which is okay but we can maybe make that a little bit easier because i have from the workshop some overpasses so there we go there's the name ped overpass you can look those up yourself this is a six lane road so we need the larger one and it just simply clips onto the side like this and i'm wondering whether we could put that around the other way Let's maybe go like that. There we go. And then, I mean, these are only for walking. But if we connect this into here, that gives that access that way. That gets access that way. Uh, this one, we could just run along the side there and give access that way. And I'm going to change that part of the same one. And that pretty much looks okay, doesn't it? We can just tidy this up a bit with a tiny little bit of decorating. There we go. And now that we've got that in there, what we could do is turn off the crossing there, which is only going to help things on this road. So if we do that one there, that will turn that off. Excellent. We'll then put a little bit of this in here with the giveaway sign. 
that's weird. It's not letting me connect. Oh, there we go. Got it done in the end. So just want some giveaway signs on that side. And uh, we've still got crossing over there. And we've still got crossing over here. But it means that this can move freely. You know, we could even put one of those over here. If we turn this crossing off, they can go over and then cross down here. Yeah, go on. Let's, let's just finish this junction off completely. Let's turn that off there. And that off there. And what we're going to say is you can cross here. So if we put crossing on there. And I'm going to also put some traffic lights in to actual have a, actually have a crossing there. And I'm going to move it further back down here. Just a spot. There we go. There we go. Look at that. People are making... Oh, look at that the amount of people crossing over. People love to walk. They really, really do. And things like that can really help with traffic. Excellent. Okay. So any other spots they can get from here now over this way. They can get from here through here. Um, what about this one going over? We do have this little connection here. But I'm thinking another one maybe from this park over the top would be good. Let's do that then as well. Oh, I just love it when you see things like this. Immediately, these are all cars off the road, which is exactly what we want to be doing all the time in our city builds excellent so we've got a connection here connection here connection here what about across from these guys uh, we do actually already have this path through here which is well used i don't think people are cycling on that one though are they no they're not um rather than just upgrade it and completely change it for a new path do we have a cycle only path we do i'm just going to run that one i think alongside this one let's see what we come up we can just without grabbing the nodes that would be great there we go so that's now going to run alongside this one we've got a few trees stuck in there let's just get rid of those bing bing oh that's okay doing the little gap there that's fine Excellent. So people can now cycle up there and get all the way over to here and get into our underground, which is good. Uh, we've got people crossing over here, which is not always good right on a junction. I'd like to put a crossing down here. So we're going to use node controller and we're going to put a new node in there. And that is already set as a crossing and that has to have a traffic light. There we go, which means then we can turn off crossing here. Um, I don't think people are crossing there or there much. Anyway, it's really this bit. There we go. Look at that. And hopefully that's far enough away from the junction that when the lights do change and the people go, there we go. It doesn't last very long and everybody can still get through. Excellent. That is much, much safer. Um, and then we've got crossing over the river here, which we've got all the way down the river. Um, but the downside of what we've done is, at the minute, if they come down here, they then have to walk all the way to one of these bridges to get across. We don't actually have crossings right by the bridge, which seems to me um, a little bit silly. So well, we've got a node right there. Let's grab this node. Oh, man, and hopefully not mess anything up. Was there a load of trees along there? There was. There was these trees, wasn't there? And they've just all been removed. Darn it. Well, never mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that node a crossing. Very good. We're going to put traffic lights on there because we have to to make it safe. And I'm hoping that is going to connect. So anybody coming across can use that crossing if they wish. With the path right next to it here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Is there people going off the main path onto it? I think they are. Excellent. That is good. And that's not going to add too much traffic. So I think what I'm going to do is go along the river. And every time there's a pedestrian path across, we're going to make it a lot easier for people to cross over as well.
yeah, there we go. So I've added crossings on one side, and the other side had quite a few roads coming off. So where there was a road right nearby, I put some lights on so we could help the pedestrians. There we go, another crossing over there. But I think overall, that is definitely going to improve the walkability. I'm going to keep an eye on how that affects the traffic coming down here, because I've added... Oh, another auto save. quick sip of tea. Yeah, as I've added more traffic lights down the right-hand side, because there was all these junctions, but hopefully that is going to be okay. Already looking like there's more people using the paths, which is absolutely brilliant. Right, so now let's look into where we're going to expand so we can start working towards hitting the target of growth in our city. Okay, so back over on the other side of the city, we have Croydon Gardens here, and there's a lovely large road that runs down the middle here. No traffic on it at all, all the way coming up to the end. It does lead into this junction here that used to be actually quite busy, but looking at it at the moment, let's just see when the lights change, everybody gets through. How far back is this one going? Oh, that's going quite a way back. Might need to adjust that. And I'm wondering where to connect these up. I think we will have to put connections coming off of both of these. I've got Wooten Park here, which is five stars, which is really adding to the land value, which is only going to increase as we build through here. So let's make a road connection here. Yeah, we're far enough away from this highway junction i'm just looking let's grab one of these roads so we're going to bring that one in alongside here there we go we might end up changing where this water pumping station goes we're going to make that give way and dedicated sailing lanes there's enough nodes in between for them to change lanes there's no weird lane connectors no that's fine and then this road here is gonna wiggle all the way along and come out over the other side let's grab that again I think that's far enough away from everything that that'll work nicely. We'll just do the same thing over here. There we go. Not putting our giveaway signs on there, which I'm sure it normally does, but I can do them myself. That's fine. There we go. Excellent. And then we want a little row just to wiggle through there. I mean, this one we've been using over here is pretty good that is just a standard two lane suburban street but actually for this larger one that goes through here we've we got a larger road we've used somewhere yeah like this one here let's grab that one and that's going to be our connection between the two ends so this one again we're just going to sort of wiggle that around there's absolutely i mean it's flat as anything here isn't it let's turn that on yeah i mean a tiny little piece of land there that's sticking out but apart from that totally flat so we can do that and then we can even we can then even come off of this and head out in this direction how far is this going to likely go i reckon this is going to fill up most of this this side t hampton and all of that it's going to fill up all of this so this road is just going to come down here and it's not going to go straight out we're going to curve that around a bit and then maybe sort of go that way and then it will wiggle through there and the reason for that is for speed really i mean i don't know what speed these roads are at um mcwelshman has sent me new versions of a lot of the roads that he's made which have the speeds adjusted correctly uh it's my fault that i don't have those uh installed i keep forgetting to do it uh, i'm going to change this actually to this one because that will give you the two lane that we need and we'll do that one down there yeah that'll be fine let me just redo these end pieces there we go excellent that'll work nicely and then yeah people are going to start cutting through so i was going to check the speed was nice so we've got oh are we on kilometers per hour let me just change that so i keep forgetting when i switch from my american city back to this one i need to just change that to miles an hour there we go everything else stays the same yep that's fine now if we check the speed on here miles an hour yeah perfect so this one is a 50 going down here. That's good. This one is a 30. That's perfectly fine through this area here. I wouldn't want that any quicker. And then we can use these small ones here. There we go. And start drawing in some estates here. There we go. So I've got this road here as I'd like some houses that back on up to this, this little park that we've got here. So that would be nice. And then we can start building in the middle here. I think we will have some small cul-de-sacs 
like we've had over there. But what I'm doing is I'm looking at the width of this road as it goes out and making sure that even though there is a gap between here, which maybe we can add a path in, we're trying to sort of use up the space as much as we can. I mean, there's, you know, there's no harm in connecting some of these together, having some cut through rows, that's fine. trying to think how to finish this last one so it doesn't matter too much that these connections uh, are quite close together because the amount of cars coming in and out as soon as they hit one of these bigger roads they're going faster and they're spreading out anyway do i want another road in here can i sort of do that and then i don't want to connect to here that's my point i'm trying to keep that free but still try and make use of the space that we've got i think one there and then i could even go through like that I think that's good use of space. Got maybe a little bit of space in there for... Don't we need a park? We've got this wooden park here. So maybe another road through there and through there just to make a nice little smaller section. I think that's okay. Let's get some water pipes in for these lovely people. There we go. Excellent. Now, considering we're talking about walkability and all that sort of thing... Um, I'm just wondering whether we have a bike road that would maybe work down here okay. So this one here, that might actually be a better option. Let's just upgrade this little section here. So what have we got? We've got, yeah, bike at the side, no parking. So that might actually, this tree one looks nice. Or oh, we've got this one here. What does that look like? Oh, look at that. That is a rather blue bike lane down the middle there. That is quite a nice one. Then we're getting up into... Oh, no, that, I thought that was a four... I thought that was a six-lane road, I should say. It's a four-lane... Again, and that one's a six-lane road. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this one. It's a wider road. Uh, we are going to lose the trees in the middle, but that's fine. So we're going to bring that all the way up round here to the end. There we go. And then we're going to take it down this one as well. And I'm just wondering whether there's a two... Oh, we're in the bike one, aren't we? Is there a 2U uh, bike in one? That's a bit wider. So we could go for that one for all the side streets instead. What do we think about that? We've got oh, That's a one way. We've got this one, which is more green than blue. Quite like the blue one, I've got to be honest, and really try and make all of this, this area in here as we get to fill it out more bike friendly. Why don't we go for that? There we go. I think that's all of it. Yep, that's good. It's not like once we haven't built this area, we're going to have a load of trees anyway. Look, all these houses are going to have trees in their garden because I'm thinking of going for the same design that we've got over on that side. But before we do that, let's just have a quick look at our services. So we've got healthcare connected uh, over there, although it doesn't reach all down this way, does it? So maybe another small... Let's have a look. Got ambulance station... Medical helicopter, UK medical practice, and no decorations. Yeah, let's go for this one. We're going to have that. I'm going to make use of this little section in here, I think. There we go. So that's got more access around there. Excellent. Death care. What have we got? What have we got? So a little small crematorium. Yeah, we're going to pop one of those in. I'm going to pop that this side. And then, of course, we've got our child care and all that sort of stuff. So what's this one down here? That's a child healthcare centre. So we've actually got really good coverage there and there. So this area is covered. Uh, elder care, excellent coverage. So that's fine. And then we've got these other little healthcare things. Uh, we'll leave those. Um, fire. Fire coverage over here seems okay, even though I can't see. Oh, there it is. There's a fire station there. This area is badly covered, isn't it? But we'll leave it like that because this is the area we're worried about at the moment. And police... Where's the nearest police station? Oh, it's like one over there, one down. You never need much police station coverage, do you? But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to pop one in here. That one's going to come right out onto the road there. That will be fine. And then schools. Um, so let's see what we've got here. So for our elementary schools, we've got two right nearby. A um, little bit of space in there. A little bit of space in there. Not much. So we are going to need... 
I don't want anything too big. Um, where could we have that? Again, this junction here. Let's have that that side. I'm going to put a high school in anyway. Oh, that's the library, university. Where's the high school? Oh, that was high school. Was this a high school? Public school? Hang on. Hang on. Elementary. It says on there. I was reading it. I couldn't see it for looking. And then maybe another little high school on the other side. Look like similar buildings, don't they? Then we've got this little community going on there. We can decorate those when we get there. And then parks is basically the last thing we want to put in here. We've got this great big park that runs down here. So the land value, look at that, is, is just spreading out across this area. But maybe a tiny dog park sort of in there. We're definitely going to have some things by the school. Yeah, I'm just going to pop a couple of tennis courts in there for now. And we'll leave it like that. And then we can do, once we get to the decorating point, we can do that. The only other thing I want to do is put some connections through here as well. So I'm not going to use the bicycle paths this time. We're just going to go with these ones and get these connected up. Okay, there we go. That's all the connections down there. And then finally, I am going to add another connection alongside this in here. This is going to be our bike and walking path just to get people out there. That one's okay. That one's okay. Uh, on the other side over here, I think I'm just going to squeeze one around. Again, let's go like this and over to the bus stop. It's going to let me do it. Yep, there we go. Excellent. So you can get through there. Very good. So the only thing to do now is to get our houses placed. And we are going to use these models that are down here, which I really like. So let's have a look at those. So that is the UK housing semi-detached. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I place level ones everywhere. Um, and don't mix in any level fives when we get all the problems that we've had before. And what we can do to make sure we get that right is using the find it mod here. So I've got UK semi. We're going to add that and put building level minimum one, maximum one. And that just gives us these four here. So we've got corner version two, which is a level one, another corner and a straight one and a straight one. We've got these ones down here as well. Yep, yeah, And these ones down here as well. Yep. Yeah, excellent. So we will work our way through these. What I might just do just to make this a little easier, is I'm going to take one each of these and place them on here, like so. And then what I can do when I want them is I use the picker picker mod. So for me, I press T and then I can just select that one and then I can place it down, which is going to work hopefully really well. So as I'm going along and placing these, I'm thinking, man, the last time I did this, we had a humongous traffic problem uh, because we let everybody come in at once. So I'm just wondering whether to um, place some of these down and then let some people come in and see what happens. That might work out a little bit better. Um, what have we got so far? I'm just wondering whether we could just check what the population of these is. Yes, we've already adjusted all of these, overridden two households because they're semi-detached. Pretty sure they've all been done. Yeah, they've all been done, they're fine. So we're already gonna be having a lot of people coming in. So rather than suddenly get surprised with the traffic, we'll get the game going and we'll just see what happens. Oh, people are moving in. Houses are arriving. No, cars are arriving with people for the houses. And we're getting no traffic, which is good. I think maybe we've solved our major traffic problems. Normally, it's like at the two ends, isn't it? But now we've got... Oh, oh, hang on. A lot of people coming up there very slowly behind that bus. <laughs> but yeah, no major traffic issues. There's quite a few people coming up there. Yeah, look, all of these houses are coming around, aren't they, to go into this new area over here which is to be expected 
other than that, it's going okay. So I'm going to leave this unpaused while I continue doing this. And hopefully we will get to, what was it, 48,000? Yeah, at some point in the middle of doing all of this. Right, we'll just drop back in. We've expanded a little bit more. I forget how long it takes to place all of these and then just move it mod to move them all up and try and sort of fit in as many as you can, making the best use of the space you've got, but we're doing okay. What I've also done as well is I've taken our zone over here, which was Croydon Gardens, and we've expanded that all the way down to here. So whatever rules apply there will apply this side of the road. And with Croydon Guards, if you remember, we've got the level control mod. And we've set it to a maximum level of three. But I'm wondering with the, what have we got? Average land value 54. I don't, there's some figures around that would actually tell you um, which level needs what land value. There must be something somewhere. I don't know. I've never thought of that before. But considering the land value is so high, particularly over here, I'm wondering whether we could pop that up and say let's have a maximum level of four instead and allow look whoa yes look at that wow 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 so they were just literally all at maximum level three on the cusp of upgrading oh, you can't see the arrows in that view okay and the amount of people should shoot up so what i'm hoping to see is after that's finished we get a nice bump in population but also nobody complains about low land value because look you're all ready to upgrade man i've never seen that like that before that was fantastic so i'm hoping that is going to be the case as we continue to build out we're at 39 000. this little section here left to do and then i will be back with you and while i'm doing this i'm just noticing the amount of people that are cycling through here as well there is tons and tons of cyclists which is exactly what i wanted to see brilliant there we go that is all the houses i'm going to put in at the moment and then just to sort of finish that off we're going to grab our forest brush here which has got a nice uk tree selection and just sort of get that in between there we go let's just get a bit of kindling in that fire so any gaps that we've got uh actually this bit is going to have car parks and things added to it so we'll leave that but any gaps that we've got be filled with trees and suddenly it just makes it look so much better ideally what i should have done is made these little gaps a little bit bigger so we could sort of fit corner houses in get them right up to the end of the roads but to be honest once we've done this it's going to look fine a few trees down there um this bit around here this is part of the park i'm just going to sort of just dot a few around like that um yeah let's just finish off this last little section so if we grab the movie mode, are we going to have one right on the corner? Yes, we are. We're going to have one right there. Yeah, not lined up perfectly, but that's the way it's going to go. Uh, I'll probably come back through and sort these out another time. That's it. Yeah, I feel like I want to put a load of trees in there. There we go. What do we reckon to that? That looks like a nice little estate to live, doesn't it? little bit of traffic coming in and out now but that's fine got the petrol station down here plenty of trees plenty of biking plenty of walking plenty of access to the park i'm not convinced this is going to get us over the figure that we need to get over to hit the next target but that is certainly a good addition uh, one more thing we need to do which i've forgotten about is of course buses so let's have a look at our bus routes we've got this bus route uh, that comes up along here go oh if you hover over it's easy to see it there we go goes through croydon gardens and all the way back down over here or go to the hub so maybe we could hmm, just thinking actually if we could just add a simple little route that goes around here sort of every other <laughs> why are you going around there and it's not straight down this road that is really oh, i'm on the wrong side of the road that's why there we go just every other block down here for the benefits there we go everybody gets happy for that benefit and then uh what we're doing here i want to go this side of the road i want to go there and then we'll go down here yeah we'll go we'll stop outside here so we've got all the schools and things up here hmm, why is that doing that hang on complete line there we go but then what i wanted to do was get one of these bits to come down maybe to over here so if i drag no that's not what i'm going to do i'm going to take that stop out of there i'm going to drag it from here 
and add a stop in there. So that's just going to loop it round that side. If I move that to the other side of the road, if I can get the blue one. Give me the blue one. It's not going to happen, is it? I'll turn all of those off and put number 13 on. There we go. Move that to the other side of the road. I think that will stop it crossing over. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So that gives the, the bonus that you get for each bus stop that's put in there, but also they can swap over at that stop and go to some different places if they wish as well. Excellent. Something we could also do with over here, which I'm going to mark down with its own little zone. It's going to be, I'd say, taking in this little section here, maybe a little bit bigger, is some shops and offices. So if I pop that in there, shops and offices... There we go, because otherwise they're traveling a little bit too far to get to wherever our nearest shops are. Um, I mean, we've got the Wave Retail Park. I don't think we've got any other shops that are any nearer, really. Maybe a little couple of corner shops. Oh, we've got these along the front here with these shops. No, they were taken out and turned into houses. Yeah, so maybe it is all the way over here they've got to travel. So, yeah, we want to try and help them not to do that so much. So I think maybe another little shop and office office complex along here would be a good idea for a future build. So why don't we take a look at how many extra bikers we've got in our city. So if we come out of this view and go into city statistics, statistics I can say it correctly, look at that figure on the end there shooting up. For my cyclists. I'm not exactly sure what the year was when we first started. Let me just check. Yeah, it was 2089. So I reckon that is around about this point here. Because that's 2086. We're 2091. So it's sort of going to be around here. Which is that. Look at the increase. 594.3813. How do you get 0.3813 of a cyclist? Yeah, probably don't want to know the answer to that. All the way now up to 700. Well, depending on where you put it. 738. Yeah, that's the highest figure we can get to there. So that is absolutely fantastic. Almost, what's that? So that's nearly 600, 700, an extra 100 and... I can't do the math off the top of my head. Not enough cups of tea in my brain today. But look at that. That is a huge jump. And that is only going to increase as things go on. And our traffic is doing fantastically as well. Still 81%. That is brilliant. So what I will do is rename that bus line. I'm just going to call this Croydon Gardens Loop. If I can spell loop correctly. There we go. Um, it's Croydon, isn't it? Not Croydon. Oh, good grief. There we go. And then we're going to change this as well because we've got double-decker buses everywhere. So why not? Let's go for a double-decker bus. There we go. And that should work nicely through this area too. So our city continues to grow and also our walkability and our bikeability has increased a huge amount in the city. And everywhere we look, there's more and more people walking and cycling and doing anything but use their cars around our city, which helps with the traffic immensely. And the more that we expand and grow Blighty on the World, the more we're going to make sure that people can get around on their bikes or by foot to keep that traffic as low as possible. So any suggestions you've got, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for your support. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you very soon in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.